always have a hard time finding beach cover-ups that I love, so I decided to make my own. This is a really cute craft. It involves taking a nice white beach wrap like this and dip dyeing it. Start by folding this fabric in half and then half again. I'm gonna fold about four inches one way and then the next. The effect, as you'll see, of this is a lot like tie-dyeing, but the process doesn't involve any rubber bands. This works with all different sizes of beach throngs or scarves or whatever you want to make. I think this would be really fun at a bachelorette party in the summertime to do with your friends. Almost to the end here. And I have my folded beach throng, and with a hot iron, just press it flat and clip it right to a pants slash skirt hanger like this one. And it doesn't matter which end you clip. So now the dye bath. To make the dye bath, we can only use a little bin like this. 12 ounces hot water, and then one half cup of salt. The salt allows the dye to set. And with a little whisk or spoon, just dissolve that salt. All right, it looks almost dissolved. And now the dye. This liquid dye is great. It dissolves instantly and it's nice and concentrated. A half of the bottle of aquamarine. You really want this like to be a great saturated blue color. I always make sure to wear an apron when I'm doing a craft like this. This aqua color is really beautiful as it is, but I think a little bit of teal will make it even prettier. This will create a beautiful, rich color. One little tip when it comes to dyeing, if you plan to do more than one, you can make one dye bath and dye whatever it is you want to dye and then add a little bit more of another color and you end up with all sorts of beautiful shades. So the dye is mixed and before I dip, I'm gonna do a quick water dip. Saturate the folded scarf with water a few inches and this will help the dye move up and then the dip. I love watching this climb. Dye the folded fabric as far up as you'd like, obviously. The more white that's exposed, the more white you'll see in the end. And this dye does continue to climb up the fabric after you're done dipping, so just take that into account. Once you have enough dye in there, hang it to dry. I have a nifty clothing line right here. Hang it over a bin so it can drip dry like this. Let this dry completely and then we'll open it up to see what it looks like. So this is completely dry, and as you can see, the color crept up quite a bit, and it's a lot lighter. It dries lighter than it looks when it's completely soaked in that dye. So let's unclip it. Oh, I'm thrilled with this. So set the dye by ironing it or throwing it in your dryer. Now all I need is a bikini to match. <laughs>